Hello everybody, welcome back to a new episode of How to Do VIC. We got a new project as you can see. We are starting a new unbreakable airplane, but this time for 10 bucks instead of 5 bucks. Normally I build them out of a wooden stick, make them unbreakable, and then using plastic cardboard and foam to make the wings. But we found this at the Lidl. This is EPA foam, unbreakable foam. You can bounce it, break it, crash it a hundred times and it should be okay. Maybe it bends a little bit, but it should be fine. And this time I want to make it super light. That was my idea. So for 10 bucks, I got my airplane. I got my entire model that we need. Now we're just going to upgrade it with a few light parts. For example, a two cell motor with a 5 amp EC. 1306, 3100 kV motor for 2S battery. Super light, and then a 2 cell battery, and 450 grams. And if we really need to boost it up, we can use this 3 cell battery and pump it up if we need more RPM and more, more thrust to make this plane to make this plane fly. And then the, at the end, we also got. Metal Gear servos from Rockstar. These are very, very durable. They don't work smooth. They work very happy. I'm not very happy with the quality, but they are durable and they very quite light. Keep the tail light and the entire weight of the plane light. I'm just gonna make ailerons and an elevator and just keep the rudder off. We can always add a rudder on later on if we need it, if we really need it. Of course, the first thing that we have to do is cut off the nose and give us a little plateau so we can screw on the little motor. Then I'm thinking about hiding most of the electronics inside in the capsule because it's the second piece of foam. I'm just gonna cut it open and then hide all the electronics inside because I don't think the EC makes a lot of heat. It's only five amps. Hopefully it's enough thrust for this little plane. First thing that we're going to be doing is like checking the server out. The wire is not long enough to make it to the middle, so we're going to have to extend the little server wire. That's not really a big issue. I'm using plastic cardboard, slightly heavier but a lot stronger, to make the ailerons. Let's cut some ailerons. Maybe I can have two ailerons out of one package. Now I have two identical ailerons. They're perfectly the same. Oh, I do love the design this way. I like it more this way, but I know this is safer and more durable for the longer. As you see, it's not straight, so we're gonna first have to make it straight else it's gonna bend very strange. This we're gonna have to remove. But this is almost the same length, so it all worked out perfectly fine. That's quite a nice job. Now we're gonna hint nice and easy without any strange problems. Because I know when it's cut on an angle, it's not good. It needs to be straight to make a good, perfect hinge working. And of course we're gonna bedroom the other side. First we put the tape on the stabilizer, press it down, then line up, pull that back a little bit, and line up the elevator, place it on an angle before taping it down. That's the maximum angle that it will be able to bend. If you do it when it's flat, you have a very stiff elevator. So I pre-bend the elevator, then we tape it. Yeah, and we got a good working elevator. It can go up, can go down. We have a real, <laughs> a lot of angle. But it will not be binding, it will not be breaking the server. On top of it. And then blow it.
And of course, this time we should glue back into the airplane. So we should we don't lose the entire elevator. Just be sure, just with hot glue, we're gonna secure it to the fuselage. The next step is finishing off the ailerons and elevator using this old servo arms as hinges. So we cut an opening and place the servo arm right in the middle. And then use some hot glue. And then keep it flat and you move the upper eye that you want to use right on that edge, on the hinge edge. You move it straight above it. And then finish it off with a little bit more hot glue on all sides. So. And then as last, the aileron of the elevator, I mean. And fill up the cavity with hot glue right above that edge. And then fill it up. And then clean off the excess hot glue. At the back, I'm using a plastic servo, 9 gram. Keep it super light instead of the metal gear servos, they are twice as heavy. Those are be used for the ailerons, but this plastic 9 gram got a very long wire, so I don't have to leave solder and make it any longer. I got the perfect length for the entire body. Very good place to place. This is a little bit space between the servo arm and the stabilizer. But before we can glue the servos in place, we have to make sure that they are centered up and correctly. So we've got a little servo center. And let's test the quality first. Looks good. Center them up. Oh, that's quite obvious, not good. In the middle. Uh, let's let's go. We ended at the last few steps to make this plane fly. So uh, we got to found the weight inside of the canopy. We can place that all the way forward, make a little bit of space for that. Then we're gonna place the battery behind it. So we have a little bit of space. The EC can fall inside of there. And then the wires will connect inside of here. You can hide that nice in that little place over there. But the receiver, it, it does not fit. There's not enough space. Plus, uh, I need to maybe add some weights by using uh, batteries. Make some cavities and then place the batteries inside on two sides. Just to add some nose weight. I don't want to cut in the plane and uh, yeah, maybe structural, make it less weak or more weak and more chance to break i just want to keep the body as strong as possible so for now we're going to place the receiver on top also be talking maybe to cut off the top and then make a little cavity for the receiver to put it in to keep it nice and safe place it this way with the wires keeping it out i need to lift the plane up somewhere in the middle for it to balance and i need to my fingers need to be here if I do that, then the, it's still heavy. So I need a lot of extra nose weight to make it fly. But first let's connect all the batteries and make it work. I just already bound the receiver to the transmitter. I got another video for that. I will link that video over here somewhere. So you can see that video that was already done. It's a very short video. This is the motor. Always channel 3. So I need to make some setup changes in the transmitter to make it all work. 
But let's connect the battery and see how it works. We've got another battery over here. Turn on the receiver and connect. Ooh, something happened. Oh, the motor is connected. Ah, oh, there's the elevator. And the elevator. The elevator works. Ah. And the rudder. The elevator is under the rudder, so I need to change that. But it worked. No binding. Nice, a lot of angle. Of course, we're gonna all downplay that. I just need to fix that to make some setup changes in the radio to make it all work. And then in the next video, we're gonna go and do a test flight. So I hope to see you then. I hope you like this video. And please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out the test flight. And I hope to see you then. It's out to the sea, signing out.